evidence shows Yabo Ojo may likely know more as to what happened to Mubad. Very dark man drops new evidence to support his claims. Hello guys and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. This is Lovely Discover YouTube. In case you're watching for the first time, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Please watch till the end of this video because there's so much more coming your way. And of course, remember to give this video a like, massive likes, comment and share so that this video will get the the simplicity that it needs and most importantly endeavor to subscribe to my youtube channel turn on your bell notification so that youtube will always notify you anytime i drop new video or videos thank you all in anticipation that being said let's dive into it already all right what i'm about to review now i'm pretty sure if you get to the people involved they will quickly try to destroy evidence however i am willing to work with the nigerian police and give them the evidences i have and also anybody that feels that i'm lying they can sue me to the law court and i will bring evidences to back up whatever thing i am posting now yesterday i sent my bad wife instagram handle to my hacker the person that hacks for me and gets my evidences so when i sent it to him i said check this name and Iabo if the ip matches he said i'll start the work now and once i'm done i'll let you know the result the geolocation is very delicate cause the surgical procession uh, let me start then i said okay um, i sent him that message around 11 25. so this morning around 1 4 a.m he sent me a message and he said this one not even putting any effort same person she's literally just switching at account with one device cip address same cip notation same ip address she is the laziest and lousiest i've seen in a long while now let's quickly analyze the ip address now as you can see http instagram underscore c33y underscore that is mobile wife now the ip address is this db ip 0109 ip address 163 Seven zero one four seven one seven four. Now let's quickly check Iabo Joe's phone. As you can see, HTTP Instagram Iabo Joe Fresh Free DB IP zero one oh nine twenty twenty four. IP address one six three seven zero one four seven one seven four. As you can see, the two IP address matches, meaning this um, this both account are being logged on one phone, and we all know who. Obviously, Yabo Ojo. The question is, why is Mubad wife Instagram logged on Yabo Ojo's phone? Obviously, she's actually the one posting on behalf of Mubad wife. That's number one. The reason why I said the evidences will be destroyed immediately it gets to them is this. If you remember, I came online and I said, this lover IP address match with Tonto Dike's IP address, which I can bring back again to judge you guys' memory. This is just lover IP address. As you can see, Instagram just lover underscore media outlets. Um, one eight five six zero two one nine one seven four. Don't do decay. One eight five six zero two one nine one seven four. Immediately I dropped this video. Instagram just um, over deleted the account and lied to the general public that the account was dis disabled. The account was not disabled. They tempered with the evidences. Immediately I posted it. They went to go and delete it. So nothing happened. It wasn't disabled. They deleted the account. They understand. That's why I said they will temper with evidence. Now let's go back to all this case. If you remember, Yabo Oju, this lover and Tonto Dike for this case. Also, let me take your mind back again. You remember this video? Was installed there. Yes, even as you see, that the camera was installed there. The camera was outside now, not inside the living room, not in their bedroom, not in their staircase, outside. We all heard the Yabojo, that's from my mouth. She said, even if the CCTV in the compound, the CCTV will not capture what happened inside the house because Mubad died inside the house and CCTV camera was outside. She sounded very sure. I still ask the question again. I said, Yabojo, how did you know Mubad died inside the house? Ladies and gentlemen, the truth of this case is this. Mubad wife is not innocent, obviously. The truth of the matter is, it's possible. 100 percent possible that she was the one that physically attacked the boy and maybe not deliberate maybe not trying to harm him then mistake happened and the boy died you understand 
I want to tell you this. You have children. I think you have a son and a daughter. I'm not even sure. But I know you have a daughter. But I heard that you have a son. No, you have a son and a daughter. I pray in our heavens that nothing of this will happen to your children. And I pray whatever thing you have involved in this mobile case, I pray it doesn't haunt your children. But if you feel what I'm saying now is defamation of character online, you can sue me to the law court. And like I said, I have evidence to back up my claim. Thank you very much. Ha! Ah, I'm even tired of this matter. This mobad case back and forth, but a very dark man. Let me not even say much, anyways. This is how people reacted. This person said, related to this IP of a thing. Um, I think this guy is into tech, he's a tech guy. Um, Mumbai underscore tech. He said, The IP address belongs to Instagram, not to Iyabo Ojo, Mobad's wife, or any individuals. When you visit Instagram, your device connects to Instagram servers. And that's what the IP address represents. It's part of Instagram's network infrastructure, which means it's used by Instagram to serve content to users. So this IP is purely Instagram's and not and has nothing to do with any specific person. Please do oh, take people in the house or people that are conversant with how this um, IP works. Is this comment true? Is very dark man blowing everything out of proportion? Is he accusing Iyabo Ojo? Now, some person said, some person said that very dark man doesn't necessarily want justice for Mobad. What he wants is victory to defeat Iyabo Ojo. His ego to bring Iyabo Ojo down is what that is making him to keep on going with this back and forth yeah bojo this yeah bojo that very dark man this very dark man that more bad this more bad that we meet this with that i don't know how true and legit this accusation is but you concur with it okay let me walk you through other people said people's reactions so this person said to the best of my knowledge yabo didn't know anything about me and more bad neither was she close to them she only jumped into this case when he died so how she has a hand or knows about his spy is what i don't understand or got vdm was she there when more bite no so what exactly are you saying that Wumi ig is locked on her phone and then what Oga, at this point the obsession is real iyabo the air you breathe all day another thing i want to chip in now is you know you can you can always share your network with somebody through wi-fi so it could be possible that Iyabo shared her network with Wumi or Wumi shared her network with Iyabo Jo. Hence the reason why their IPs are the same. I'm just saying, you know, I'm not saying this is what happened. I'm just saying my own opinion. Like I said, drop your thoughts in the comment section, please. And another person said, all what you said, I believe, when you dropped something like this about Tonto and this lover, the account was, was deleted. When this, where is this lover today? The person who helped you act is a real hacker. Let them come with a lawsuit. It is not legal to know someone's IP address. If they say it is illegal, so they are saying if someone run away with millions, I have no right to track him or her with IP address. How does that sound? My bad wife is not innocent. Let her face the law. Where is this lover again today? When VDM posted with evidence, immediately the account was deleted. I am sure you have a lot of evidence. You can't post all, make them play, come with their lawsuits. Wow. Hmm. Iyabo Joseph go regret say she and this boy cross paths. Wahala too much. Moba self go down tired. Now, wow. I person said, how is this evidence? I even thought he wanted to show a video of when Wumi was attacking Mobad, like, like they claim. Weary. Hmm. At a very dark man, we don't need your opinion on social media. Do yourself a favor and go to the Nigerian police force and provide all the evidences you have. This is ridiculous. I concur with this statement. Yes, he has to go to the Nigerian police and tender his evidences. If he truly wants this case to be positive a positive result rather he should just carry 
the evidences and tell that to the Nigerian police because the way he always rushed the social media, some people will believe that he's for clout. He's just using it to cash out. His um, YouTube channel is monetized. He's monetized. Um, I think, uh, what's this, TikTok, and maybe he's making money with his TikTok account, I don't know, but on Facebook, he's been paid on Facebook. So the way he, keep, he keeps on running to social media to tender his evidence, some people believe that all for monetization, all are for monetization, you know, so he should, he rather should go to the Nigerian police and tender his evidence or evidences. Another person said, people are suffering in Nigeria and this is what people should pay attention to. Fuel is 1,400. <laughs> God will help them settle it. That being said, guys, that brings me to the end of this video. Please do give this video a massive thumbs up and remember to smash on your red subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on your bell notification to always get notified anytime I drop new video or videos. On this channel, we react and analyze. We give trending just celebrity news, true crime and true crime stories. And to my returning subscribers, thank you for always watching, liking, commenting and sharing. Bye-bye for now as I'm signing up for my next one. Peace out. I love you all. Okay, Bye.